Hey there, Ventex here. Welcome back to another episode of Thief Simulator. Last time we finally got the hacking tools after we leveled up, and so now we are going to start our hacking. Let's go to... let's go with the Huey first. Okay, so it looks like we're in some kind of maze here. Let's try to do this reverse, maybe? Can we take it this direction? No. Hmm. We could go this way. And then maybe this way. And then here. That doesn't quite work, does it? Let's start with this direction first, I guess. See what we can figure out. So there's two ways that could go. Let's see. Down here. We could make it go down, but then we don't have a way across. So we need to go up. Maybe I could go here. And then... Here. No, that doesn't quite work either, does it? Let's try this. Perfect! We did it! Alright! So that is one thing hacked. We got a few more things. So let's see. We'll probably do let's do one more at least over here. And they'll probably do these off screen because they're not gonna be that thrilling to watch, <laughs> I'm sure. We're just clicking through a maze. And eventually we'll come up with the correct pathway. But it's just a uh, matter of trial and error. Most of the time when it comes to mazes, it's easier to work backwards, just like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and lock this one off screen. I'll be right back. All right, Vinny's calling us. Good work. At this rate, we'll be done with you in no time. Now, send me the tablet on Black Bay. All right, let's log on to Black Bay. So there's a vase there, and electronics, receiver. That's the tablet right there, said story next to it. That's all we have. Okay. You know they buy car parts on Black Bay, right? But you gotta skill up if you want something to sell. Ah, uh, we have to level up again. Alright, let's get some more side quests to level up. Rent a thug. Let's go to 103 has two quests for us. We have to break or steal the lamp or break the sink as well. Alright, sounds good. Let's go ahead and head to the pond. I think we have... Wait, do we have anything in our inventory? Hold on. Escape. Let's see. Loot. Oh, you know what? I have the uh, amethyst I can do. I can sell this phone now, too. Let's go disassemble this amethyst necklace real quick. Doesn't take but a second. You just click. And you just click and hold, pretty much. Perfect. All right, let's go sell this stuff. Get in. Let's go. Let's go to the pawn shop. Welcome Hello. Back. All right. Look at that amethyst parts. 1200 1200 for the phone, too. Wow. Good amount of money. We got almost 7000 All right, let's head to Greenview to level up. Oh, look, there's Richie R Street as well. That's a new area we unlocked. Interesting. That's cool. I was wondering how long till we unlock new places. So it's 103. That's where we have to go to. It is nighttime currently. I remember this place with the upstairs. Let's park on over here. Good. All right. Let's take a look and see what we can find around here. Blinds are closed down on the base level, but there could be a way upstairs. Circle the area. Kind of scout around. Okay, I don't see any entrances other than the front door or front gate. Yeah, that appears to be it. We do have a person coming this direction, so let's wait a little bit. Okay, they're continuing onward, so let's go ahead and get inside. 
Not quite. Uh oh. Wow. He came in right as I opened it. Are you kidding me? How is that fair? He walked up as I was opening it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to stand right here and see if they'll just go away. They don't see me over here, then that's good. But if not, oh, I guess. Okay, never mind. We'll just do it this way then. That is so lame. What unluckiness. I figured I heard footsteps, but I was like, okay, that's weird. I didn't think anything of it because there was no cones or anything. Like the, I guess the owners of the house don't have a view, a peripheral or a cone of vision that you can actually see. So if they're coming home, you have no idea other than those footsteps, which we were already kind of in a compromising position. So there's nothing we could really do in that situation. Looks like we do have a police officer here. Oh, I guess they're, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, they're patrolling. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, $17. $5. Oh, we're about to get hit. They're going too fast. No! Oh, that's so stupid. Oh my gosh. Okay, so police are patrolling actively now. Something else we just learned. Two things we learned in about 10 seconds. One. The people can come home anytime and you won't know it because they don't have a cone other than their footsteps in which if you're doing something illegal, you're already busted. Two, the blue cones are police officers that are now actively searching around the neighborhood. And if they find you, regardless of whether you're doing something or not, then you're going to get caught and you're going to get in trouble. Pretty interesting things we figured out so far. This is on the sidewalk, so that's not going to do us any good. There are two police officers. One actually is close to here. Let's park our car off over here again. That actually is pretty good. Wow, look at that. So many police over here. Alright, now the windows are open. So that's good for us. You can see that there's three people residing in the house. Right now, they're agenda the routine is unknown we see one of them does leave it is currently about 7 30 so that looks more around in the evening probably around five one person leaves the house but as far as the other two can't be determined we have no way no way of knowing there is a way to go upstairs it might be a good idea to wait until they're sleeping but I like to err on the side of danger, so let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully nobody comes walking behind us. Alright, so far, so good. I don't see anybody in the windows yet. That means nobody sees me as well. I thought I heard footsteps. Here we are. Let's get up. Good, good. I take it the police officers also don't look up above. Oh! There is a lady in here. That's so creepy that we can stare at her this way. Okay, so we can mark all of them. We know where they are. So everybody is home currently. I can actually unlock the window from here. Wow. And I can open it from here. <laughs> can I enter from here as well? Probably not. Okay, it looks like we might have a good shot at breaking the sink. I think we would, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. So looks like she is coming over here to investigate. Nope, never mind. Looks like she might be heading out. Yeah, she's leaving the property. I like how they hear that, but they don't care, really. Like, oh, something broke. Ooh, X-Cube controller. Let's 
see what else is back here. Shoes, a jacket. We got some plates. That's a weird place to put plates. Let's put it in the wardrobe. There's a Noki. It's not worth much money. Not much back here, unfortunately. Alright, let's continue. Ooh, a keyboard. Looks like we're safe in this room. Ooh, that's a nice camera. And I know those black and white vases are worth quite a bit of money. Oh. A headset. Oh, we can actually sell that on the Black Bay. Okay, I don't want to steal too much over here because I do want to get into that room. Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. Check this out. Yoink! Oh, there's a console, too. Alright, let's go ahead and take this with us. Let's go this direction. I can't open up. There it is. I have to drop the TV before I open it up. Perfect. How much is that console? I want to grab it. Yes, we got controllers and we got the console. Sweet. Now, we need to get into that room, but there's a lady in there. That's the last objective that we have, but... For the time being, we might be able to take this to our vehicle. Let's throw it over if we can. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted to do. Now, there is no other way into that room currently. Probably gonna have to wait till nightfall. So, if at all possible, it might be ideal to go ahead and get to our vehicle, load up the TV, and then find a place to rest. Now, I'm waiting for these cones to pass by because there's a police officer. And there's a few civilians patrolling around this area. Quite a bit of traffic for this time of the day. But yeah, she is persistently in that room. There's no way to get around her. Not at this time. Alright, come on. There's just so many people. As soon as they go away... Okay, it looks like we might have a opportunity here. Now there is a resident there as well. So he might spot us, currently. Alright, let's go. Perfect. Okay, there is a police officer coming from the left. That's okay, we're making our getaway. Where is that TV I threw over? Here it is. Oh, yes. This will fetch a pretty penny at the pawn shop. Throw it a little bit closer. Perfect. Look at that. Barely fits inside. Could have made a joke there. A Michael Scott joke, but I will refrain from doing so. Even though it's going to be very, very hard. That's what she said. Let's go inside the car. And let's go park and take a little siesta. Oh, you know what? Parking is going to be more dangerous too. Because now the cops just have to see me. I wonder if parking is actually going to get me killed. Because surely they patrol while I'm parked. Or if, like, what if I park and then I get to sleep, but then as soon as I wake up, they're already there. Alright, let's try to sleep until... 10. Hopefully no cops come by, because that would be really stupid. Alright, here we go. One of y'all told me a handy tip, and they said I could put some stuff into here. So I could put the... Yeah, I could put stuff in here, which will help save me some room so I can loot some more stuff. Excellent. Alright, let's go up here. Let's park where we parked earlier. That seemed to be a good spot. It's good to get our car out of the way, and it's a good getaway as well. So the line is uh, right there. It's also going downhill, so we won't be going super slow like we did earlier.
Okay, there is a cop coming by. I don't think I have time. I think we're going to have to wait a little bit. Hopefully everybody is asleep by now, or if not now, they're going to be asleep soon. And then we'll be able to actually go into that room and break or steal the vase. So I think we'll try to steal it. But if we have to make a quick getaway, we'll just go ahead and break it. Actually, it should be just as fast stealing it as breaking it. Maybe even faster. I don't even understand why it says steal or break. Obviously, you're going to steal it. Ten times out of ten times, you're going to steal it instead of breaking it. Like how we're like right behind the cop. Oh, she's leaving. Good thing we waited. Now this guy's crossing over here. That poses issues. And this person might be crossing this way. Golly, it's nighttime. Everybody go away. We gotta wait for her. Gosh, so annoying. I think she might be actually headed this way. Yeah. Oh, no, never mind. She looked like she was headed this way because she was walking off the trail. Then she made a quick turn. Alright. Do I not have a lock? Wait, what? I think I don't have a do-it-yourself lock. Wait, hold on. Let me look at my inventory. That is strange. I'm just, mine didn't break. I do not have... I do have one right here. Why can't I do it? I knew I had one. It wouldn't let me do it. Let me try it again. That was strange. I kept clicking E and nothing was happening. Let me wait for this cop to go. Golly, look at all those little cones all by this place. Look at 107, 108, 112, 113. Nothing. Nothing over there. It's just everybody is right here because they know my mission is here. They're being a bunch of cheaters. That's all there is to it. All right, there is nobody here. Yeah, it won't let me interact with them. I'm spamming E on it. It will not let me. And I have a do-it-yourself lockpick. Oh my gosh, that's frustrating. And there is no other way in. I wish there was multiple ways in to these locations. Like at the beginning there was. There was always a weak side of the fence or a little hedge you could crawl over. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to have to leave and come back, I guess. I don't know why we have a do-it-yourself lockpick and the do-it-yourself lockpick is not working. Maybe we need to make another one? I don't know. Super strange. Maybe the game's just a little buggy. That's all there is. I mean... It's just a, uh, I'm sure it's a, I think it's an indie game. It's not, definitely not a AAA game, so games have their bugs. Let's go to the home real quick. Let me see if I can sell anything on the bay. And then I'll go ahead and make myself another lockpick. So stupid. Alright, whatever. I could have done both missions, but that's okay, I guess. Let's go to the bay. Art, car parts, electronics, headset. Nice. Alright. And let's go to Rent a Thug. I'll just I just won't do that right now. Let's do let's do 106. Maybe if we get two missions in two different places and there's a lot of traffic in one, we can go do the other. And then maybe there'll be a lot of traffic in the other, we can go do the one. So we got the 103 still. We still gotta steal that lamp, but we can do the 106 as well. We need to level up anyway. Let me see my skills. What do I need for the story? It's going to show me after the jobs that's been accepted. Nope. Uh, nope. Are you going to show me what I need? I think it was car theft. There it is. All right. It's best to learn from practice. I know an old car you could bring in. You know, for maintenance. Okay, hot wire car. Older cars can be hot wired. First check the electronics under the steering wheel, then you need to connect two right plugs with the cable. Okay, that sounds fairly simple. Uh, before we go ahead and do that, let's go to the pond. We got stuff to sell. Start her up. And let's go to the pawn shop. Let's go ahead and see our good buddy here. Welcome back. Welcome back gonna name him Jeebs 
That's from a movie. There's a character named Jeebs that also runs a pawn shop in a certain movie. Maybe some of you might guess it. Let's go. 104. 104 is in the middle. See, nobody's patrolling 104. It's like they don't care about 104. They don't pay enough taxes or something. I don't know. Let's park our car right here. Open the trunk. Alright, 104 is right here. Crawl up the vines. It is currently 2.15 a.m. So we have to steal a car. This is a thousand dollar job. Alright. Receiver. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. There's a landline. I don't know if I want to steal that. It's worth $22. We got some time, so we might as well look around a little bit. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's some cash. Uh-oh. Oh, they're downstairs. Okay, they're sleeping. All right. I didn't think I closed that very hard. I'm holding E this entire time. Goblet's worth 33. I'm sure they have a safe somewhere. This is worth $3, not worth taking. The appraisal's actually nice for figuring out things you want to steal and things you don't want to steal. Okay, someone's awake. I don't know where they are. Sounds like they're below me. Okay, here's another room. There's a nice TV there. I don't want to push my luck too much, though. Have them come up here. Let's head to the garage. Yeah, one of them's awake. But she's not going anywhere. It doesn't appear. Looks like she's falling asleep. Oh, a guitar. Is there any other goodies in here, maybe? It's a nice chair. I can't take that, though. Alright, is this what we're taking? I think so. Let me get over here. Car theft. Oh, I need a car lockpick gun. I hate it so much. It never tells you what items you need. It just says, great, you got the skill. Now go steal this car. It doesn't say, great, you got the skill. Now you need this item. Now go steal this car. So annoying. All right, so we can't even do this right now. That's okay. Maybe we could do other stuff. They're sleeping right there. This is worth 70 bucks for that toaster. $90 for the microwave. Can I drop something? Hold on. Uh, items? How much is this worth? I'm gonna drop this. Nice. Alright, let's go. So, I think we'll go ahead and try to steal or break the lamp while we're over here, since we can't do this mission, obviously. We also have some side objectives, don't we? Or did we not accept those? Let me see. Notes. 104. We do have... Steal that. We already broke the car window. Oh, 106. Break their sink and break their dishes. Let's go to 106 while we're over here. No need to waste this night, even though it's almost morning. Hmm. Hopefully we'll have time. 106 is just across the way. Do you see daylight coming through? Alright, let's go down. 
There it is. Couldn't jump over for a second. Now, 106 is right here. Is there another way inside? Another way up? Doesn't appear to be. Unless we go through here. I guess we're just going to go through the front. Alright. The day is coming. This could be a problem. Okay, I don't know where these people are. Or what their schedules are. I don't know anything about these people. I just know I need to break their stuff. And I need to break their sink. Okay, they heard me, but they're down there. Alright. Oh, there is no way out from here. Unless... Parkour! Ha <laughs> ha! Parkour for the win. Alright, let's go. We need to get that tool. We need to get much, but that's okay. Game sometimes just doesn't tell you what you need. $8 repair. Perfect. Oh! Oh no! I hit a pedestrian! Oh my gosh, she came out of nowhere! How was I supposed to know? Do I still have everything? I think I still completed those missions too, didn't I? 106? No, I could go do those missions real quick. Yeah, let's go do those missions real quick. Why not? What else do I have to do? 104. That's it. Alright, we'll do this mission real quick. Uh, you already seen me do it, so I'm just going to cut right here. And I'll be back once I have that car tool part that I need. So I'll see you guys in a second. Sounds like they're downstairs. But they're still awake for sure. Uh-oh. I don't know where they're going. Alright. I think we'll be okay up here. Anything good in here? No. Candles are $60. Jesus. I didn't think they'd be that much. I have no idea where she's going. That's making me nervous. Okay, it looks like she's going to a bedroom. Anything good in here? There's a vase worth six dollars. There she is. She might be in the area of the car. Yeah, she's like... Oh, they're right, by, both right below me. Well, it should be getting bedtime soon. They should be going to bed. It's already 11 p.m. I wish there was a skill where I could see where they are. Alright, last time we opened one of these a little bit too loud. I'm not sure how. We're trying to be as quiet as possible. Let's get the goblet. There is a guitar down there that I do want. Don't hear anybody. There we go. They could be asleep by now. It is almost midnight. We we'll give it a little bit longer. Let's open up the window. Another escape route. I hear her. I don't see her outline, though, so that might be an indication that they're on the level below me, because there's three levels to this area. There's the very bottom, where their bed is. There's the middle, which is actually the ground level, and that's where the car is. And there's the first level, which is where their bed is. I think we're safe. Let's do this. Alright, pretty good. Close. Alright, 
I think we're okay. Now, we have to use the car theft level one car lockpick gun. I'm not sure how this works. Uh oh. That sounds loud. Okay, maybe not. Well, that works, I guess. Get in. It's dark in here. Oh, here it is. Interact. So here are the wires. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's one. Okay, they're down below. I'm pretty sure I have to open up the garage door, right? Get in! Oh my gosh. There we go. Alright! There it is! I thought the garage door would have alerted them more than what it did. Free car! Just like that. That's simple. Nice! S rank. We got another skill up. Hello? Now you're ready for the real deal. You keep this up and you'll be a debt free man. We left a box by your gate. A box Pick by my up. gate. Oh, right here. Go to Richie R204 and stick it in his bedroom drawer. And don't let him see you. Okay, before we do that, let's see if we have anything to sell in the bay. I know we got a nice guitar. Others, no. Car parts, we have a whole car for you. How's that for a car part? Let's go ahead and let's go sell this stuff at the pond. And then next is going to be Richie R204, which is a whole nother location here. Pawn shop. I guess the car will go to the junkyard, wouldn't it? That makes sense to me. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, that's for the box for Richie. Let's go to the junkyard. I haven't been to the junkyard yet. That'll be new. Junkyard. What are we doing here? Hi. Oh, hello. Cars. Here you go. $500. Boom. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, this is the first time I've been over here, but this is where we sell our cars. He also buys, what else? Car parts and other. Cool, cool. Alright, we're going to end this episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the Twitter and Discord down in the description. I'll see you guys next time.